Hi everyone, it's Miss Lisa Marie. Welcome back to another virtual Sunday School. I hope you all had a great Easter. I'm sorry we couldn't all be together in person, but it was really great joining together, watching Mother Storm perform the Easter service uh, via live stream last Sunday. And I really liked seeing all of those Easter egg hunt pictures from days past. So I hope you all had a great time. Today's Sunday School story is about a man called Doubting Thomas. And if you don't know what the word doubt means, it basically means to not believe something completely or be unsure or maybe be very, very uncertain about something being true. So we're going to read today about Jesus' visit with the disciples after he rose again from the grave after what we celebrate as being Easter time. So let's start our story. Doubting Thomas. The disciples were hiding in a house the night Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors and Jesus came by and stood by them. Now, how do you think Jesus could have come by and stood by them if they locked the doors? Peace be with you, he said. And that's something that we say at church on Sundays, right? Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. Now, why do you think they showed, Jesus showed his hands and his side? He wanted to show um, the scars where the wounds were from when he was crucified. So he thought if he showed them his scars, then they would really believe that it was him. The disciples were very happy to see Jesus. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, With this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I'm in heaven. You now have the power to do the things I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe it when I can touch Jesus' wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped open. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, You believe because I'm here with you, and you've seen me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. So that is a great summary of what it means to have faith. Faith is believing in something that you don't necessarily see, but you know in your heart is true, so you believe it, right? So that was a great story, and now we always close with the Lord's Prayer when we have Sunday school, so let's say that together now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Take care. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll talk soon. Bye, everyone.